You can't see that I'm completely naked from my waist down, can you? I can. Okay, good. That's all that matters. <laughs>
So it was like basically sleeping on like an inch of foam. Yeah, and we <laughs> left the box spring because it was shot. So yeah. We, so it was literally just a queen mattress, and we were both knocking each other off the bed half the time. And yeah, bears require more room, so now we have a king, and we both like have our own area code of the bed. Yeah, it's like a 12-inch lavender-infused memory foam. I air quote the lavender because we have an air purifier, and it's yeah. completely sucked all the lavender yeah. smell out of the bed. So. Yeah, it smelled great for a couple days, and then like a couple days after we got the mattress, we got the air purifier, and you couldn't smell it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so... That's all right. Now we just have to burn candles or incense. You know, light candles in the bedroom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's been it's been good, and I for a long time never thought I was going to be married. Yeah, I in my early twenties, I was kind of like, well fuck marriage, like, I I don't want to get married, uh, I don't believe in it, it's just a piece of paper, it's yeah. just an institute that I don't believe in, and... It was never so much that for me, as it just wasn't legal, so it was one of those things that I just chalked up to, maybe one day it might happen for me, but if it never becomes legal, then no, right. and... It didn't become legal in the U.S. until 2015. Right. It was legal here well before that. Oh, yeah. So. No, it was, for me, it was just like I didn't really believe in marriage. I mean, mm. my parents divorced, so. Oh, my parents are divorced. Yeah. They were divorced when I was three. Yeah, it's around the same time my parents got divorced. Yeah, and it's... My father remarried when I was young. Mm. I was, I think, eight when he remarried. Yeah. So I still had some concept of what marriage was and, like, how it could work. And because, you know, eight, you're still very much in your formative years. Right. Well, I, yeah, my, my father remarried around the same time as well. And then my mother uh, met my stepdad. I was, like, 12, mm. maybe 13, no, I think it was 11 or 12, and they met and within six months, actually I think it was within like three months, they met and got engaged and married, and they've been together for what, 23 years now, so that's kind of what happened with us, like, it is. when you know it's right, it's right, and that's exactly how it felt for both of us, it was very mutual, and yeah. Yeah, it was one of those things, like, there really wasn't even a formal proposal, like, we just talked about it in passing at one point, and you mentioned it later on, and I was like, you already said something about it, and I said, I would definitely marry you, and it just kind and, of... And it was kind of like, okay, so we're engaged then, I guess? Yeah. So, did I, I guess I propose then? So... Kind of. Now we need to talk about um, marriage then? <laughs> I feel like a family guy's skit where it just keeps getting louder, <laughs> higher and higher pitched. Oh, like when Stewie's <laughs> asking Brian about his book? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got, like, uh, a little novel there? A little bit of uh, writing to do? A little bit of. Uh, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm just as. Actually, no. I'm happier. Because I was ecstatic and over the moon, and I just, I love you even more every single day. You fucking better. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, baby. I have a feeling when we're, like, in our 70s and 80s, we'll be like the couple on Vicious, where we never actually say we love each other anymore. It's just so well known. But we take every available opportunity to pick on the other one, but yeah. we know that it's coming from a place of love because, you know, been together for 50 years. Right, well, that's, I mean... I'm sure that'll be us. I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say goals, but, I mean, goals. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag relationship goals. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we mentioned this before in another video. Um, on our one year anniversary, we were going to do our big shindig, friends and family, but not happening this year. Yeah, plays into that whole financial hardship point of thing. Yeah. Um, but I, that's okay. It, we can do that at any time. Yeah. Um, I mean, lots of people run away and get married and then renew their vows years yeah. later and then yeah. involve their friends and family, so... Yeah, we've, we've got time. I, in my life, am so selfless that I've rarely ever done anything for myself, and I feel like us running That's off true. and getting married the way we did was finally, I wouldn't say selfish, but finally no. something for me that it was like, you know what, I, I'm sorry everybody else, sorry... It wasn't I, just for you. Well, you know, but like... <laughs> Yeah, when you no, think about it. everybody else, and it was just like we simplified it d down to the bare basics and just thought, you know what, let's do this. We yeah. did it. Yeah. And that wouldn't change a thing. Nor would I. It's not something that... Marriage is not something that I take lightly. Me neither. So, it, the fact that we were able to make the decision to get married, it was definitely something I thought long and hard about, and yes, I just said long and hard, um, because it's a serious institution, like, it's yeah. not something that I take lightly, and I know it's not something you take lightly either, but... Yeah, because I've always said, even when I was, like, anti-marriage, if I were to ever get married, it's got to be the right person, because I don't ever want to get divorced, I want right. it to be the, make sure it's the right person, I found the right person. <laughs> that just means he's going. <laughs> I like how you don't deny it. You just lean in for a kiss. Mm. Like, mm. So, that's what's happening with us. If we don't do, like, a anniversary recap video next, I think we might do a, a review of Dark Crystal, the new oh. Netflix series. So good. So, so good. Yeah, it was good. I, I really did enjoy it. And then I I wasn't not a fan of the original, but I was never super fanatical about the original. Like the dork crystal over here. Mm. But would that be something that you guys would want to see if we did a review of Dark Crystal? Would it be something that we'd have... I guess we'd have to like run spoiler alert at the beginning of it before we start talking about it, right? Yeah. Unless, well, yeah. Yeah, either way. Yeah. I was just thinking unless we did, like, multiple videos. Yeah, because, I mean, it was... Cause a, ten episodes. Yeah. Each one's an hour, so ten hours. Um, I mean, do you guys like the reviews that we've done so far? Um, we can work on, like, trying to interlace, like, pictures and clips from the series into the video, but it's very difficult to do that without a copyright strike issue. So we can try that... But do you guys like to hear our reviews of these things? Is that something you'd be interested in? Just let us know in the comments. But I think that's going to wrap it up for us in our one year of wedded bliss. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, smash the notification bell so that you're notified of the instant one of the Den Boys or ourselves upload a video. Uh, and uh, take a look at our page on Facebook. Give us a like there as well. So until next time, bye! bye.